and welcome to AMB Bronze 22 part 5 I think um, we're up to Troll 105 and farming there you'll have seen since the end of the last episode that I've been doing a little bit more experience farming at Troll 105 uh, characters up to champion level 1758 the only change that I've made and this is the very final thing that we're doing is I've added the Slayer enchantment to the helm just because we needed a bit more help with elites I've not needed that with um, mage or um, bounty hunter before I've not used it with warrior before either but this one for whatever reasons needed it um, just in case you're not aware of where to find that it'll be enchanting lesser enchantments head and we've got slayer at the bottom 50% bonus damage um, still a fair few greater essences going into these um, 15 shadow 15 fire another 15 shadow 15 air and then the silver dust doesn't really cost too much um, so what I will be doing is pop another hour's worth of these I'm probably going to need to buy some more of them um, we've still got over eight hours of playtime um, I'm not going to get through anywhere near close to that um, and what I want to do is build up these book balances I want to try and get a hundred of each um, once they're at a hundred I'll potentially think about upgrading these with some books and then maybe look at some of these level three skills we've got level one down there just to push a synergy along a little bit um, we would get a small attack speed bonus at level 90 I don't think it will do a great deal for our attack speed probably not um, not that it really matters uh, this is the very first run of the day so it's going to be slow until I've warmed up into running efficiently so we'll do this run together and then I am going to switch off oh dear <laughs> Let to there. Let's pull them in and jump over here. Hopefully, deal with those elites. be a slow run <laughs> but we've got it through what 57 seconds I'll take that for the first of the day um, the fastest I've managed so far which was the final run before I logged off yesterday was 38 seconds so um, we're in a, a good position for farming 105 now so that's it until I finish experience farming um, at the moment getting about seven to eight champion levels per run want to see the gold build up and obviously as we every 10 runs the way that these are all lined up as they meet in the middle legendary at the bottom epic at the top they'll meet in the middle somewhere that will have been 10 runs done and then I'll just salvage everything um, and just collecting a nice amount of gemstones as well so 10 runs salvage that gets us some materials which we're going to need when I create the mage and I think we just saw there we've got loads of marker titans now so uh, definitely not going to have any problems on that front so we'll meet back up um, once I've done some serious offline farming or off-camera farming so I can 
just get into the swing of things and not go quite so slowly so we'll meet up again shortly and welcome back for a quick status update we're nearly through that uh, hour that I added on in terms of books of learning these are starting to look nice and healthy I do want a full stack of each and I'll probably end up with more um, I'm keeping a few in here because I've started just doing some analysis just to beat the boredom of experience farming um, potentially I could carry on experience farming for another four hours I doubt I'm gonna get through four hours of experience farming um, I don't think we've got any experience boosters up here no so we'll use two of those for now and we need to buy to 200% experience um, so as you can see we're up to champion level 1965 so we just keep building our power as we keep adding in that's all we can add on to in terms of abilities charge power infusion I ended up using some books to put them up to level 9 so I'm just working on a bit of synergy we'll get some attack speed and a little bit of vitality and ability rate for reaching uh, level 90 I don't think I'll be pushing that too much further beyond there um, so it's Friday evening I'm just checking the time 10 to 11 I might get through that and then see how I feel Saturday for more experience farming um, so meet up again in a bit for next status update and welcome back so it's been a bit of a marathon uh, exp farming session um, feasibly I could do another hour and a half but I think I'd go insane if I were to do that um, reached champion level 2062 which isn't bad at all um, if I had blown a few thousand gems right at the start and got whirlwind up to level 10 straight away then we'd probably be over 2100 if I did another hour and a half we'd be close to that um, but I have no intention of doing that um, probably don't need to look too much further at this character so I didn't upgrade anything and the abilities beyond where we were um, this character is about to be deleted because we are dual classing in this um, AMB event um, just got a whole stack of teardrops I got fed up uh, upgrading gemstones as they were dropping I wanted to save some gold we might need to do a small e uh, gold farm on the mage when we make that in a minute um, but that's certainly enough there to craft um, a push set uh, but if I want to go for 277s I might need a little bit more gold um, in terms of other stuff we've got the ephemeral jewellery awaiting ready for push um, that bowl of mushroom stew from story should be long enough 15 minutes for us to get a mage to level 70 um, nice stack of books that we can level up the mage abilities very quickly without having to wait for the clock to tick down and <clears throat> a couple of um, max value items that came out when I was jewellery crafting earlier so I'll take those back to the main these are just the apples and potions that will stick on the mage once we've uh, created it uh, jewellery that we use for levelling 1 to 70 I've kept hold of that we might as well use that with the mage in the 1 to 70 process and a couple of blocks of 40 radiance because I haven't decided yet which enchantments so I'm going to stick on the rings for push I'm going to go with fire lily so in all likelihood we'll have so much toughness that I'll go with power but I'll hold on to both of those separately for now and I think that's 
that done there um, we also have a nice amount of materials greater essences um, with a gold farm thrown in say 30 minutes we'll be able to upgrade all these lesser essences and things up into greater essences as well so there should be enough there to hopefully craft two level 77 items so i think all that remains for this character i'm not going to keep any of the jewelry is to unsocket things and just sell this off because this character is about to be deleted. So those items could be used by a mage, although they've got the wrong. We go and fire Lily, and particularly that one with physical damage. And if we were to use them, probably get banned. So let's not do that. Make sure we don't use any of the armor or weapons that we've crafted on this character so that's just for extra gold we can throw this into here um, let's sell all of that and we can come out I don't think there's nothing on the character so we'll exit out of there to our hero screen I've not done this in AMB before but um, yes we'll delete that go to our hero screen we go to AMB and we can create a hero now um, and let's select mage and this one can be jewel wisp and hopefully as soon as we jump in on shores of hope if I hit my inventory button we have all those champion levels ready to instantly assign to our brand new level one character who is now massively overpowered um, let's expand everything out here we don't really need to do all that I'm going to open up all three of these slots so this is gemstones costing quite a bit we'll unlock all of those slots and I think we're good to go I won't bother upgrading anything just yet um, we even unlock that so we're going to one hit our way through here don't really need to take too long as soon as we're through this level we can get to our stash pop that experience booster and get cracking well something alive back there that's annoying So we are through. I know you will do it. And we have all these quests that are going to pop back up. We'll run through as far as collecting Eileen. Um, let's quickly organise this because it's going to. get filled with the gemstones that I put down here uh, we can just double click those across that didn't work out right did it there we go let's just 
give this character uh, the stuff that we put aside for it. Don't think there's anything else there, and we'll pop that 100% booster. Um, we're not wearing anything. Good thing is we don't need to purchase any crates because we have all the materials from the warrior is sat here. So. Um, Weapons for now, haste and experience, and a shield. Why not? Have I? Okay, what do I normally run? Um, a tome, don't I? <laughs> And armor just normal for now. Normal robe. Normal shoulders. Pants with movement speed. Boots. And gloves. Gauntlets. Mm -hmm. Haste. Just a normal old cape will do. Any old bracer and any old belt. And of course, we wouldn't be leveling up without some sort of um, fire lily. Um, I don't think we're going to need, no we're definitely not going to need a vial of the wind spirit so I'm just going to create a hasten experience trinket. Because we have so many materials, we've got 790 marker titans, so I can craft Grand Magister's weapons as we go through, and we'll use shatters, which is far more efficient. Uh, so there we are. Um, it'd be good to get that up to level 3. The reason I want that at level 3 is... Really? I thought we were upgrading that. There we are. Oh, wrong one. If we get that to level 3 we should get some splash damage from it. Um, I'm not upgrading uh, emulate just yet because I don't want things to get too out of sync if we're going to have three skills upgrading so I'd rather have emulate and frost nova and something from up here possibly or fleet footed um, so we'll upgrade that so as we see at level 3 affects all enemies in a small area rather than just hitting one enemy um, and we can just read two of these books and that is done. Um, I'm not going to have any skill upgrading, I'm going to let that flash away at us. So we'll stick those back down there. We're racing around. Um, do I want to get... I'll wait until we've leveled up a bit. We'll grab a couple of healers along the way. So everything's just going to get splattered. Oh, 
Uh, I'm going to try and twist a finger onto shift key. I don't really want to go changing the mouse settings for single ability. We'll have two of them in a minute anyway. a little oh, yeah. bit slow at the moment. Brave Ruins done. Um, salvage Cell. We've unlocked Frostbolt and Frost Nova and Endurance. Um, again, until I've... Actually, we could do those three together, couldn't we? Straight up to... Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. What I should do is take some of these books out of here and then we don't have to keep jumping in. So, and then upgrade, upgrade. We'll take them up to level five for now. I'll read two of those. And we'll upgrade those. So three of these. And we can upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And I'll leave these books down here for now. Um, do I want to upgrade anything else for now? Answer is probably not. We'll unlock that slot we'll unlock that slot and we're not yet level 10 um 500 weapon against 195 but it's splash damage we'll stick that in there already and we'll leave everything else flashing um level five i'm going to ignore quack Yes, it is a gem, but uh, I'm just thinking we're level five. It's when we've got Frost Nova that we have a Northern Wind guaranteed. So we're up to level seven. So I think, what have we unlocked? That, we'll stick it in just to stop it flashing. I think we shall get rid of this. Just making sure I'm not going mad. <laughs> We'll start running around with Grand Magister's command weapons. So we will craft arcane sets. Let's just see. I'm just making sure I've not. Hasten experience, got a level seven, and a Glacis Tempestus. I say these are tiny amounts of materials compared to what we have. Uh, armor we can stick with normal. Oh, shoulders, pants movement speed on there and on the boots 
down to gloves, haste on them, uh, regular cape, and a regular bracer, and a regular belt. And a trinket. There we are. We've only got one shatter available to us at the moment, but uh, it will help. I'm not going to bother with anything from the store. Uh, let's return it, otherwise, we're going to be badgered about quests. to Endera. I'm not going to... there's two side quests. I'm going to ignore those for now because we want to just get through really. I'll do the main quests just so it doesn't harass us. Can we get across the bridge? I'm not even going to bother with the things back there and then a shatter to finish off. So what did we unlock? A couple of things that we're not going to use. We'll unlock that ability slot, we'll put in fleet footed. Um, do I want to upgrade that at the moment? Probably if I do those and something else just for synergy. Um, I'm going to be using that, that and that, so I don't really want to upgrade that. No, I'm just going to leave it as it is. <coughs> right, we shall grab Eileen from... Oh no, we don't get Eileen just yet. We need to do this, so we're going to waste a minute here and then hopefully we can rush through, grab Eileen, and then trolls as a quick way to 70. Because we're massively overpowered with all those champion levels. hoping to do this 1 to 70 in a single video take. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. It's certainly going to be quicker than the 1 to 70 that we have in say episode 1. Uh, level 13, we can keep going with that. This gear for now. Defiler, I don't think there's any side quests on the Defiler map. So let's just sell off some junk. What did we unlock? Celerity. Be nice to get this as well. Or do I get Arc Lightning up to five? with those two. <coughs> Up lightning 
endurance and celerity we're going to take those straight up to five read upgrade 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 read both of those hit our upgrades again read three of these You can upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So they are currently level four, so three of those, one of them, level five. Excellent. So I'm going to leave them alone for the moment. run through defiler we've got one shatter still we don't get double shatter until um, death from above is available there's our one shatter <laughs> oh we do need to kill a load of things don't we so Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> we'll blow up some enemies just in case. I think there's enough skulls on the floor now. We'll run through to the end and a single shatter should finish those. Plus everything that was chasing us. <laughs> uh, new gear time. Yeah, 174 of those. <laughs> Rescue Eileen. I shall buy some extra healers so we can level them up. Once we've got Eileen in the party, um, let's salvage items down there. This is stuff to sell we might not get through in one take here because things are a bit laggy on dragging around other things so that's now unlocked but we'll keep hold of it until frost beam and what am I going to upgrade with it anything <laughs> Um, doing multiple things at once here probably the, oh what am I playing at I wanted to wait until Frostbeam was available um, we'll leave that alone let's be upgrading three skills that we use Or push and um, so there's our trinket weapons we're gonna stick with the Grand Magister's command haste and experience glaciers haste and experience and back with regular cloth armor uh, no robe shoulders pants with movement speed oh what am I doing that's that our cape and a bracer and a belt. We'll equip those. Don't think we can equip the jewelry just yet that's sat over here. No, level 23 for that. So let's go rescue Eileen. There's a quest sitting around here. 
that one we can probably complete as we go through because we'll just drop a shatter if it's available Shatter won't be available for up here. That's fine. Oh, it will be. Okay. What's alive back here? Some of them. <laughs> Perfect, level 20, so that's good for starting out on trial 2. I'll collect the quest just so it doesn't badger us, and uh, we can turn in that one. Nothing to sell. Uh, we're going to take a couple of healers. Only let me buy one, did it? Thank you. There we are. Nothing flash, they're all flashing. Level 30 frost beam is available. Uh, slightly annoying that I've went and upgraded or set that glass cannon on its way. Um, what are we doing? Let's just get rid of that gear. into trials and hopefully we can now speed our way up to 70. them nice and quickly um, we can equip the jewelry now for the first set Ooh. I was rather hoping double clicking would put it on <laughs> so nine minutes what have we unlocked nothing <laughs> um, level 19 we're good for the Control 3. Nice amount of enemies there for a shatter. Level up bombs are a bit annoying. Oh. <laughs> and that one down. Okay, level 30. Excellent. We can upgrade some abilities. Um, I'll upgrade that one and that one. Oh, that's already been upgraded, isn't it? Duh. Because I was being stupid. Uh, fleet footed. We'll upgrade that and we'll use our 10 minute book. 
and we get these all up to five as well. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. are all done. We'll unlock that slot, stick it in, not that I want to use it at the moment, and for now we'll throw in celerity. It's the only thing that's going to change between this and push is probably fleet footed coming out and glass cannon going in. Um, but I'm going to leave everything as it is. We need new gear. And I think I will craft that off camera because this is horrible to drag away now, as you can see. So um, I'm going to restart the video and the game and we have gear ready to carry on and welcome back so it's same setup just regular gear and then the grand magister's command weapons i think we should still just be running around one fireball killing everything Which is why I'm not bothering with Viola the Wind Spirit. through another level. <laughs> uh, we're about to get us straight up to 41. Uh, where were we? It's looking like it's going to be a case of Paul's video. Actually let's just do those. How long have we got? Eight minutes. Um, those are available in a couple of levels. We'll just craft new weapons for now. Igneous glaciers. At least we'll get to run two trials <laughs> before we're recrafting. So just to get rid of that slow thing. There's another one there, but uh, dealt with. And goodbye, Kara. <laughs> Gone in a flash. We're going to be picking up books as we go along. Okay, so we have hit 49. So the first thing I can do is get rid of all of this gear. <laughs> um, and we will switch to these rings now. These are the ones that we used with the warrior. There full price so I don't think we have any problem with using them they're not going to count on our push in any case 
Um, so, pause video again while I recraft the rest of the gear and we'll be back. Actually, let's just have a look at what's unlocked. That will be next, which does give us a second shatter, but we're flattening everything anyway. Um, I'm waffling, see you again shortly. And welcome back, just showing it's the same old setup that we had, just so there's no shenanigans going on. We only run as far as Troll 7 or possibly 8, there's not much point in going much beyond there. If I'm honest, that's a nice starting area isn't it? A lot of elites. to 54 we've just ticked past midnight so there's some treasure we'll stick that in here open at 70 for salvage um so i don't think there's anything uh, we've got death from above it gives us an extra shatter it's not really going to speed us up So we'll just keep running. This is now going to prove me wrong and say so you did need an extra shatter. But, uh, I can just switch to Frostbolt which will do more damage. Just it won't be splash damage. Seriously. Mm, through there. Um, level 58. Let's just keep upgrading weapons, I think. Arcane Grand Magisters. Nothing like the force. We'll sell that. Six minutes to get the last twelve levels. Um, I was thinking no dark cave but I think we are forced into a cave this time so let's just take it get rid of them elites cannot see a thing going by mini map Horror is almost done. Goodbye, Alban. Uh, we're up to sixty two. Um, what did that unlock? Ah, power infusion. I'm going to use that for push, aren't I? Hmm, rather than me mess up more skill upgrades, all I want to do in this video is get to 70. It's a case of changing out the gear again. Level 62 might be where we can change 
into the final set of jewellery as well. It is, so that's good. So we'll remove that, we can get rid of that as well. It's the last craft to get to level 70. So let's equip the jewellery. Again, this was just experience and extra gold, I think. Yep, so I'll use that if we do a gold farm. Sell off this. Right, actually I'm going to hold on to that salvage. So the last thing that we're going to do... Our Grand Magister's haste experience. Armour was still sticking with normal. I could stick on Elemental Lord's Regalia. It would give us quicker cooldowns. Um, by a second or two. I can't remember now. It used to be two seconds, but potentially with the ability rate changes and alacrity it might only be one second. I'll check that in a moment. Oh, and haste on there, and just a normal cape, normal bracer, and normal belt, and that normal trinket ace and experience that'll do that is the final set that will get us to 70 and we haven't unlocked anything new so it's just flashing because I've not got anything upgrading I don't care about that everything's going to be done by books so, do we want to go with Garm? Actually, that was a dark cave, wasn't it? Let's just see. If we're in a cave again, then that must mean it is definitely a cave map. No. I played through the darkness <laughs> for no reason. Level 66, so one more hopefully will get us to 70 Ooh, in the three hour book. Yum, yum, yum. Throw them down there. I might as well put the books away. I'm sure you don't want to see me leveling up abilities with books. That would be the most boring video on earth. Hopefully this will wrap up this episode and then next time out it will be take a look at the push gear and do the push. selected eight or nine we're on eight again go away oh we need to run another trial <laughs> it's not letting me get away with that quite as easily level 68 
map. Let's kill some elites and let's get rid of Elben. And that's level 70. So, job done there. All that remains then is to use books. If I set up this as it will be for push. Um, power infusion. Glass cannon. I might do that for a bit. And then I can look and see what skills need upgrading. Um, but I'll worry about that off camera. I'll show you what I upgraded. I think we've got enough books of learning set around there. We can definitely get the push abilities up to level 10, which is the key part of that. We can open that as well now. Um, so this has been a much longer video than some of the others, but we are at least now in a position where I can craft the push gear and uh, do the push. So if you've got any questions or comments feel free to put them down below. As always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.